Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about some of my favorite top 10 restaurants in the Daytona Beach area. Excuse my dog. Stay tuned, check it out. Beijing here, licensed realtor with Wolves Realty in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm a 33-year uh, local and native to this area, so I know the area extremely well. So if you're thinking about moving to this area, think of me as your point of contact. Um, ask me any questions you have. I get people reaching out just about every single day with questions about this area that are thinking about moving here. So I'm gonna make sure that all of my contact information is in the description of this video down below. I'm also gonna put it on the screen for you. But feel free to reach out to me however you can, whether it's texting, calling, emailing, sending me a smoke signal, a letter, whatever you got to do to get a hold of me. Think of me as your guy if you're moving to this area. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified whenever I upload new content. I've designed this channel with you specifically in mind. So I like to go through uh, different features and areas of the Daytona Beach and surrounding areas and just cover a lot of the important stuff that you might have whenever you're thinking about making a move to this area. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the notifications button, and you'll be notified every single week whenever I upload new content to this channel. All right, so my first restaurant on the list, and these are in no particular order, by the way. They're just 10 great restaurants in the area. The first restaurant is called Millie's Restaurant in Daytona Beach Shores. Um, the reason I love this place is because it's all local ingredients. They get their fish from local fishermen, uh, produce is from local farmers, so it's very, very, very fresh, and it supports the local economy here. It's a smaller place, but they are extremely busy. So definitely call ahead if you wanna have a good sit down dinner over there, call ahead and make a reservation. Uh, they do take out as well, so that's an option for you. Um, their hours, they are closed on Tuesdays. On Sundays, they're open from uh, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then every other day of the week, they're open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. So they serve uh, brunch, lunch and dinner. So that's Millie's Restaurant in Daytona Beach Shores. All right, my second favorite restaurant in the Daytona Beach area is Steve's Famous Diner. Now this one's in Daytona. It's right across the street from the beach. So as you're sitting in the restaurant, you've got a beautiful view of the ocean. If you're there for breakfast, you can catch a sunrise. But their hours, they're open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. every single day of the week. It's a local family owned business. They've actually been in business since 1986. So they've been there for quite a while. The locals love this place. It's freshly made homemade food. So very, very good. Um, the original founder of the diner, Steve, uh, he's from Greece. So it's great diner food, but a lot of his dishes have a, kind of a Greek flair to it. So definitely an amazing place. You have to check them out. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. So that's Steve's Famous Diner. This one's for all my sushi lovers out there. Uh, my third favorite restaurant on my list is called Ronin Sushi. Uh, Ronin, one of the things I love about it is the location. It's located in the heart of downtown uh, historic Daytona Beach, really close to Jackie Robinson Ballpark. They're open from Sunday to Thursday, 5 p.m. till 10 p.m. And then Fridays and Saturdays, they're open from 5 till 11 p.m. So you can grab dinner at Ronin and then literally walk right down the street and around the corner is Jackie Robinson Ballpark. So catch a minor league baseball game and dinner in the same night, fantastic date night, a lot of fun, go hang out at Ronin. Um, it's all local, it's fresh, it's made to order. Um, you can definitely tell it's fantastic quality sushi. So that's Ronin Sushi in Daytona Beach. The fourth restaurant I have on my list is called Daytona Tap Room. If you're in the mood for an unbelievable burger, head down to Daytona Tap Room. They've got over 50 beers on tap. 
They hand cut their French fries. They have unbelievable chef created uh, burgers. They've been featured on Food Network. They have trivia nights. Absolutely amazing place. So I definitely recommend Daytona Tap Room. Uh, their hours are Sunday through Tuesday from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. And then from Wednesday through Saturday, they're open from 12 p.m. till 3 a.m. So you can catch a, uh, a lunch dinner or an extremely late dinner down at Daytona Tap Room. So definitely got to check it out for an amazing burger. You will not be disappointed at the Tap Room. Number five, the fifth restaurant I'd recommend if you're in the Daytona Beach area, head on up to Flagler Beach. This one's called the Golden Lion Cafe. I absolutely love this place. It's one of my favorites strictly because of the location. Um, they have an outdoor area where you can eat, but it's this two-story deck with like a tiki bar in there. It's right across the street from the beach. So you have an amazing view of the ocean throughout your entire meal. Um, most nights they'll have live music, whether it's just a guy playing guitar or a full band there. Um, they're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. They've been open since 1992 and for 28 years in a row, they've been voted uh, best around for their fish and chips. Definitely a big enough portion for two people to share. I know my wife and I, that's what we always get when we go there and it's definitely big enough to share. So highly, highly recommend the Golden Lion Cafe in Flagler. Number six is called Four Rivers Barbecue. So if you're a barbecue fanatic, you definitely got to check out Four Rivers. They're located directly across the street from Daytona International Speedway. So really, really cool atmosphere. Uh, you can grab your lunch or dinner and overlook the speedway while you're eating. Um, but Four Rivers started in the Central Florida area. Uh, I believe they opened up in 2009 and now they have 13 locations across the state. Absolutely amazing, amazing barbecue. One of my favorite places in Florida by far. Um, their hours are Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. and they're closed on Sunday. So if you get there, definitely try the Messy Pig. It's my favorite thing on the menu. Absolutely worth finding a Four Rivers near you and going to try them out. So that's Four Rivers in Daytona. Restaurant number seven on the list. I put on their fresh guacamole. It's an amazing Mexican restaurant. They do specials, you know, they have your Taco Tuesdays, they have Margarita Mondays, where I, I believe house margaritas are somewhere around three bucks. Um, they'll do uh, tacos, dollar tacos, flautas, and quesadillas from, I believe it's Sunday through Thursday, um, three to closing, so that's pretty dang good. Uh, but amazing food. The staff is super, super friendly. It's all the same people. They don't have a lot of turnover. So I like that a lot. And the staff always remembers us whenever we come in. So it, it has that good like family and friend feel to it. Their hours are a little bit different. Uh, on Sunday, they're open from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. Then Monday through Thursday, they're open from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. And then Friday and Saturday, they're open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So uh, they'll have DJs there from time to time. They always do big events throughout the year for a lot of the major holidays. So I definitely recommend adding fresh guacamole to your list if you're in the area visiting or if you decide to move here. So that's fresh guacamole in Ormond Beach. My eighth restaurant on the list is called Flapjack Johnny's. This is a uh, breakfast and lunch place. They have a few locations. I prefer the Ormond Beach location. I just feel like every meal I've had at the Ormond Beach location has been spot on, uh, very reasonably priced. Everything's made fresh to order. It's none of this canned stuff. They make everything fresh there. Um, they've got amazing desserts there as well. So if you really want a sugar overload, grab a, a dessert after you have your breakfast there. But uh, Flapjack Johnny's, they're open seven days a week from 7 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. 
Um, highly, highly recommend the Ormond Beach location. It's always busy. So add Flapjack Johnny's to your list that you have to check out for breakfast and lunch. The ninth restaurant that I have on my list is called Bronx House. Uh, it's in Ormond Beach. Actually, they've got a few locations, but the one that I go to uh, most often is in Ormond Beach. Now, their hours on uh, Sunday, they're open from 12 p.m. till 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday, they're open from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. And then Monday through Thursday, they're open from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. They've got pizza there, real thin crust, New York style. They've got Sicilian pizza as well. Um, all your favorites as far as entrees go, chicken parmesan, literally some of the best restaurant chicken parmesan I've ever had in my life. So I highly recommend Bronx House Pizza in Ormond Beach. And my final 10th restaurant on my list. Let's give it a drum roll. Is Ocean Deck Restaurant in Daytona Beach. Ocean Deck has actually been there since 1957. I think it's one of the oldest restaurants in the area, but it's literally right on the beach in Daytona. They'll do beach parties uh, for like big events, big holidays. Um, a lot of the nights there, they have live music. I believe every night they have live music, but on the weekends, they've got a band there that is top notch. One of the best local bands I've heard in the area. Um, their food is amazing. Their drinks, the atmosphere, it's so much fun over at Ocean Deck. It's where all the locals go. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. until 2 a.m. So definitely head over to Ocean Deck, check them out. I've never had a bad drink there. I've never had a bad meal there. So Ocean Deck in Daytona Beach. There you have it, guys. Those are my 10 local spots that you've definitely got to try if you're in the area. Now, like I said, those are just my 10 that I love. Uh, my family and friends love them as well. But uh, if you've eaten in the Daytona Beach area and you've got a restaurant that you love that I didn't include on my list, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Let me know. I love seeing local businesses supported. And again, if you need anything at all and you're moving to the Daytona Beach area, please contact me. As I said in the beginning, all my contact information is down below in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye everybody.